What's going on, Clash Bashers? Rocky here today, and today we're back on our brand new free-to-play Town Hall 10. That's right, guys, we have just upgraded to Town Hall 10, and we have literally done nothing with the base yet. This is our very first episode. We're going to be talking about what to do when you first get to Town Hall 10, what to upgrade, what priorities you should upgrade them in, and we're also going to talk about the free-to-play series. So if you guys are pumped up for that, make sure you subscribe, turn on those notifications. If you end up liking today's video, make sure you slap a like on it, guys. That way I know that you're enjoying the content. So let's go ahead. I made the progress base already let's switch over to the progress base and talk about exactly what's going on alrighty guys so as a brand new town hall 10 some of the stuff does not need upgraded we got all of our storages already done all the collectors already done the dark elixir drills the dark elixir storage uh the dark spell factory obviously our our building huts do not need upgrading and also our red air mines don't need to go up as well but besides that basically everything needs to go up and i have these in a particular order and i'll tell you exactly why here shortly but before we do let's talk about the free to play aspect of this because this is going to be our free to play town hall 10 what does that mean well that means i am not going to be excessively gemming on this account i'm not going to be buying any special offers from the shop i'm not going to gem hero time anything like that the only thing that I am okay with gemming or spending time on is boosting while recording or streaming. That way I'm able to, you know, do the content in a timely manner because I can't be spending three hours waiting on armies and stuff, you know, for the video, which, you know, I feel like that's a reasonable one. I will be buying training potions every single day from the uh, daily shop if, you know, I have the space for them. Obviously, right now I'm full. And that's about it. I mean, if there is a great deal... We, we'll talk about it, but honestly, I think we're going to just go free-to-play as much as possible. We'll do what we get from the clan game rewards, which I need to do some clan games in here on this account. Kind of a slacker. But it, that's what we're going to do, guys. That's how we're going to do it. So no Town Hall 10 value pack. We're not going to be buying that, but we'll talk about all that stuff a little bit later down the road. We'll talk about farming strategies. We'll talk about all that great stuff as we get this going. So let's go ahead and hop into it, guys, for Town Hall 10, the upgrade priority guide. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and start on it. We're going to get things going. So these things, you notice it's in a kind of particular order, and that's on purpose. So what these are is these are kind of my tiers for what I think you should upgrade. Tier one is gonna be Spell Factory, Lab, Clan Castle. Lab being a super high priority, Clan Castle being a super high priority, because with the Clan Castle, you get that Siege Machine unlock. These are the first three things you should do at Town Hall 10, in my opinion. When you go up to Town Hall 10, try to have a book of building, that way you can gem up your spell factory and still stay in war. That way, you know, not necessarily gem up, but use that book of building on the spell factory so you can stay in war. And then the laboratory is a must for any town hall level. You have to get your lab upgraded so you can get your troops up. Next up, we have this stuff all kind of together. We have our dark barracks. Our dark barracks, because we unlock bowlers with them, and bowlers are huge at town hall 10. Not only for like bow witch, but you're going to use like Gobo Lalo, Gobo Hogs, a lot of bowler attacks at Town Hall 10. So they're going to be a huge priority to at least at minimum get one of those up pretty fast and then do your army camps. We're going to get extra 20 space by upgrading our army camps. So that's going to be huge. You want to get those up. And then heroes, you want to do them kind of as you can, as you can get the Dark Elixir for them, as you have excess Dark Elixir, you know, you want to get those bowlers up to level two. We'll talk to the laboratory in a little bit. But as you get excess loot, get those heroes up. You want to give them to 40-40 ASAP. It makes a huge difference. Right here, we have a space. Well, what's that space for, Bash? Well, the space is going to be for the new stuff. So let's go ahead and start on all of this stuff. We'll get all that going. And then we'll go ahead and place our new buildings and get them up to Town Hall 9 standard. And then we'll do traps, Tesla's air defenses. Barracks, I like, but we only get miners. You don't use them a ton of war, but you'd like to use those for farming. So, you know, I would recommend using one barracks at a time unless you have like a book of building or something like that. So let's go ahead and start on it, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do our spell factory. 3.2 million elixir. We get the clone spell unlocked, but mostly we are going for that extra spell capacity. We will be now able to carry five spells, five big spells, which is going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and get that up. And like I said, this is something you want to use that book of building on. That way you don't have to wait out war. Some people will say uh, the laboratory, but I'm okay with waiting on the lab. If we're going to war as a new Tunnel 10, we're just mostly going to be dipping nines anyway. So we'll get that going. Bam. Spell Factory is done, and we can actually move that over as our very first completed upgrade. Laboratory, same thing. You want to get that going up. That way we can get you know the new stuff in the lab going. And our lab's actually going to end up staying on the side. So there we go. First two upgrades, Spell Factory Lab. Clan Castle, like I said, is huge. Not only... 
do we request stuff? Not only do we get that siege machine spot in war, but we also get five more capacity, which is awesome. So let's go ahead, spend the seven million gold on that, and then we will go ahead and collect all of our loot out of the treasury. Fill us back up a little bit. So there we go. Our first three upgrades are done. We got our lab, we got our clan castle, we got our spell factory. Pretty huge things. So like I said, next up we want to try to get a dark barracks down. We don't quite have enough for that yet. And we also want to get the army camps down. We don't quite have enough for that. So let's go ahead and talk about our next thing. Heroes we can't do, but the new buildings. We get uh, a new dark elixir drill. So let's go ahead and grab that and throw that kind of right in here. We'll grab that new Dark Elixir Drill. That's all for the resources. Army, we don't get anything new. But defenses, we get a lot of new defenses, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get that new cannon. We'll go ahead... Wrong wrong button. Get that new Archer Tower. We'll go ahead and get... The wrong button. Get that new Bomb Tower. And get all that stuff in there. And we are going to be getting the Expo and the Inferno Towers but it's not the biggest priority right away uh what i want to do is get up our new buildings before getting them but we are going to be getting the expo and bomb tower i guess i gotta wait a few seconds for our builders uh we gotta wait 34 seconds which isn't a big deal i guess i should have thought about that so we'll get these walls going up once that is done but right after that guys we're going to really want to focus on getting those dark barracks up, getting those army camps. I'm going to say uh, get the dark, at least one dark barracks up before your army cap. That way, when your lab is done, you can go ahead and get your bowlers in the laboratory, which is going to be really awesome. You're going to want to farm really hard, and we'll talk about farming armies here shortly as well, kind of after we go through all of this. But all the new stuff that we dropped down, that's just all really basic stuff that you want to go ahead, get them going, and get them working up to Town Hall 9 levels. So there we go. Let's get our walls in here. And we'll get all, oops, get all those in, get all that in. You know, pretty basic stuff right here, right? I guess we could throw one right there, throw one right there. There we go. We got all the new walls in, and that stuff is going to be super easy to upgrade, super cheap. You know, we could go ahead and just upgrade them pretty fast here right away and uh, just spend some gold on them. I guess we could probably go up to like, yeah, we'll go up to gold standards right now. Not too bad. And then as we farm, we can get these up. They're super cheap. They don't cost too much to get up. So, you know, work on those kind of as you're going. Let's go ahead and get that, get that, get that. And we still have plenty of gold, so let's go ahead and do another level. Do another level. We even have wall rings, which is awesome. So there we go. We got plenty of gold. And now I want to check and see, because I think we do. Let me go into my treasury here. Or not my treasury, my magic items. We do. Okay, so we have a rune of gold, and we have a rune of elixir, which is going to be really awesome. Now, the rune of elixir, eh, it's a little bit sketch. I do want to use it, but I don't want to waste, you know, I don't want to waste that amount of elixir we have. We have 3.7 million elixir, uh, so we could actually, you know, maybe get a barracks going up or something, and then go ahead and get... Oh, hold on, that, that got us... That got us where we needed to be. I didn't collect the elixir. So we could go ahead and get a barracks going up. And then we can, you know, use the rune of dark elixir if needed. Or the rune of elixir. But, oh, see, I'm, uh, oh, the free-to-play is really killing me here, guys. Free-to-play is absolutely wrecking me. So uh, if we do that, we're not going to be able to get up anything else. Now we do have builder potions, which I guess we could do two builder potions and get some stuff going up so let's do that i'm going to do some builder potions doing free to play is tough i'm just used to jump everything so what we'll do is we're going to work on these cannons and the archer tower and i'm going to pop a builder potion which will knock off the 10 hours of that and i will also i'll probably just do two builder potions which will knock off the full time for the dark elixir drill so let's see yeah, well, let's do that. We'll do the two builder potions, and then I'll be back once those builder potions are kind of done here. Oh, this is rough, guys. Doing free-to-play is absolutely rough. And then I'm going to keep the cannon and archer tower going up as we're kind of doing that. So I'll be back with you guys here soon. All right, guys, we got the dark elixir drill. We got the archer tower. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I realized I didn't even get the traps. Uh, I got so excited about, oh, uh, you know, having that extra elixir. I forgot about the traps, so let's get all of our new traps as well. Uh, put these with the new buildings that need to be upgraded and then we will uh, we'll Spend some elixir and gold. 
And then we're gonna we're gonna get some more upgrades going, guys. So this is a great way, I think, just to get started. Uh, if you're gonna like go 0.5 or something, you don't put the new defenses. But I'm not. I don't like point fiving. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get like our basic stuff upgrading, our lab, our army camps, all that good stuff, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our inferno towers and extra bow down because inferno towers make a huge difference. So let's go ahead and we got two builders. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade one of our barracks. That way it doesn't take forever to farm. So uh, we'll do one at a time. We'll do one, and again they're like in the tier three, but they're kind of more as like as you get the loot and have you're available to do one. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade some walls. Uh, that way we're not wasting a bunch of loot. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that, upgrade that. And then we can upgrade. Okay, those are two million each. So we're going to waste half a million of elixir, but that's not too bad. We'll come over to our clan castle, grab our magic items. Then we're going to go ahead and use the rune of elixir. Always recommend grabbing as much stuff as you can before going up to a new town hall level. We'll grab that and then we will go ahead and... Upgrade a dark barracks, guys, so that'll be good. Let's see, we could actually even upgrade a wall to save some elixir from being wasted. So let's do that. Let's upgrade one wall, get our first lava wall, and then we'll go ahead and get a dark barracks going up. That way we can get our bowlers going, because bowlers are going to be absolutely huge as far as our upgrades go. Let's, uh, I guess let's put that over here with the other barracks, and there we go, guys. And what we could do is we do have a ton and ton, a ton of builder potions we have five more I, I used two they're still going and we also have those lovely power potions which are going to be really nice but we're going to go ahead and i think we're going to use some more builder potions just to keep some of the stuff going we got a day 22 hours so that's uh that's like four builder potions five builders potions worth so let's go ahead and just stack some builder potions up let's use four of them that way i don't get too far ahead of myself and then if I do use that fifth, what I'll do is I'll just start working on, you know, some of these lower stuff upgrading. So hopefully this makes a lot of sense for you guys as far as upgrades go. Uh, you know, kind of get the things rolling at Town Hall 10. As far as the lab goes, we'll talk about it a little bit more, but... Uh, bowlers to level two is going to be huge. Whatever you're going to be using to dip is going to be huge, whether it be uh, hounds for uh, Lalo or hogs for a Goho or something like that. Because most of the time, if your clan's going to allow you to war, you're going to be dipping until you can get the, the bow witch up. Uh, our number one lab upgrade once our bowlers are unlocked is going to be bowlers we got a lot done today we're going to work on getting loot going as far as farming goes we will talk about this as we go but for now use your town hall nine strategies use that lava loon or the loonian rather use goblins use barge use whatever you were using at town hall nine and just keep wrecking with it i mean things aren't going to get too much harder for you if you stay down in crystal gold leagues you'll be able to find tons of loot so that is how we're starting off our Town Hall 10 today, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to do a little bit of clan games on this one. I get Builder Hall going, but uh, Builder Hall, it's rough. It's rough. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.